I have come on behalf of the Twin Adders to enlist the aid of accomplished fighters. The small folk cover in their homes for fear of an unprecedented threat to the 12 Westwood, a blasphemy. It strikes quickly and with deadly precision before returning to the shadows whence it came. Try as we might, we have yet to devise a means to track it, much less slay it. Several brave souls search for it even now, but their chances would improve greatly if they had a stout protector by their side. Judging by your reputation, I dare say you are precisely the woman we seek. What say you? Will you serve as the shield that stands between Gridania and certain doom? I will take that as an enthusiastic yes. Make haste to the adder's nest and report to my superior. All Gridania shall pray for your success. I beg you seek out my superior at the adder's nest with all due haste, that peace might be restored to the 12 Westwood. Our liaison at Rad's at Han sent word of your arrival, but I can still scarcely believe our luck. Are you truly here to help us bring this wicked blasphemy to heal? Then there is hope for us yet. I shall fetch the elder Seedsia at once, she is leading the hunt, and I'm certain she'll be most eager to see you. Full glad am I to welcome you in good health and good spirits, Kaneko team. On behalf of all Grid Aniad, allow me to thank you for rising to our defense yet again. You will forgive me for eschewing further formalities, as time is of the essence. I shall share with you what little we know of this elusive scourge. Following the events in Thavnair, we received a report that an unidentified man had fallen into fits on the road before transforming into a beast most foul, a blasphemy, we soon determined. Eyewitnesses to subsequent attacks spoke of patterns on its skin reminiscent of heavy chains, and thus we have named it Gleepnir, for the creature of legend. It emerges from the brush without warning, bringing destruction and tragedy to those unfortunate enough to be near. Ere we can respond it retreats into hiding, leaving no trace for us to follow. The elementals cry out for us to rid the forest of this wicked presence. Yet even if we tracked it to its lair, I fear besting the beast would be no simple matter. The wounds of Gleipnir's victims are tainted by corruption. We can but conclude that the fin's fangs, claws, and horns are all imbued with the powerful poison. The smallest scratch sends the afflicted into fits, and death soon follows. Mayhap you know of the creeping death? The effects of Gleipnir's vile poison bear more than a passing similarity to the symptoms of that deadly plague. It swept through the Twelve's Wood many years ago. The sick found their skin covered in chain-like patterns, and spent their final moments in excruciating pain. Twas long before I came to Gridania, but people still speak of it with dread. Is it true that the disease spared not a single hole? Very nearly, 
Yes. Before the remainder were taken we were able to devise a cure from the glimpse room. Slow though it was, the scars of this tragedy could then begin to heal. Gleipnir threatens to reopen old wounds, I fear. Yet despite the similarities between the blasphemy's corruption and the creeping death's marks, it is unclear how these two phenomena are related, if at all. Both Kunjuri and white magic have failed to abate the poison's spread. To confront Gleipnir now would place our soldiers at risk of grievous injury. Forgive me, Elder Seedsia, but this appears to be urgent. What? Again? Gleipnir has struck once more, in the North Shroud. The whalers came too late to see the beast themselves, but the man it attacked yet lives. They are bringing him to Folgard Float as we speak. Then we must meet them there. Will you accompany us, Kneko team? Ethelmer should be able to apprise us of the details upon our arrival. Word of the attack has yet to spread among the populace. They remain calm for now. We cannot say for certain Gleipnir has quit this place. Stay on your guard. Elder Seed Seer, you honor us with your presence. I cannot thank you enough for coming all this way. Given the dire circumstances, I would not leave this to another. Where is the wounded man? Outside of the bobbing cork, being attended to by one of our hearers. He's a capable healer, but I worry this is beyond his abilities. I shall do all in my power to aid him. I in turn may have need of assistance as well. I ask that you stay close, both of you. Ixel were sighted near Eugenia's spire. You'd best let your patrons know. Have your travels taken you west to the snow-covered highlands? I've not been there myself, but tease common knowledge that the Ixel roost in Coerthas in great numbers. Ever must we keep a wary eye on our borders. Ixel were sighted near Eugenia's spire. That he survived his encounter with Gleipnir speaks to his fortitude. I know not if he can be sent, but if we can at least allay his suffering, we must. He clings to life, albeit barely. We must try to ease his pain. He's a hardy soul, but I'm utterly at a loss. While I managed to heal his wounds, the poison lingers. I fear the worst is yet to come. When I removed his clothes for treatment, I recognized the chains. If this is indeed the creeping death. Do not lose heart. I shall spare no effort. Rest for now, we may have need of your talents again ere long. Chigos, man, Chigos. A bloody swarm of them. That came from the East Gate. 
Chigos are known as carriers of the creeping death. The villagers are on edge, if they think the Vilikin harbingers of another plague, they may panic. Pray see to the Chigos. I shall remain here with the victim. Um. Falgort floats famed for its fragrant teas and warm hospitality. With such comforts at their disposal, wayfarers oft find that they're in no great hurry to resume their journey and face the perils of the road. Come on in, lass, and take a seat. One of those adventurers, are you? Well then, welcome to Falgord Float. If you are looking to rub shoulders with more of your colleagues, you could also try the bobbing cork, north of the Aetherit. Our specials today are eel, eft, snail, and toad. I think this wild-eyed fellow is the source of the earlier yelling. Do you see any Chigos nearby? Chigos? Where? Keep them away from me. They were near Alder Springs, a whole swarm of them, like an army getting ready for war. Bringing the creeping death like as not. Folk be even dropping dead with no rhyme or reason, and I'm not about to join, Eve, no sir, came running, back fast as my legs could carry me. Were you bitten? I will show you to a hero if so. Not a single hole that doesn't belong, you can be sure. You'd best do something, about that swarm though. Would that we could, but keeping the gate manned is our priority, and we have not the numbers to spare for a hunting party. By the time Whaler reinforcements arrive, it may be too late. We'll deal with the Chigos. The one who culls the greater number owes the other a flagon of ale. I. I commend your bravery. Godspeed, and don't get bitten. I have never seen so many of those filthy fiends. We are more likely to hear the swarm before we see it. Keep your weapon close at hand. We cannot allow a single one to escape. Well be praised, and you. I've come bearing a cure for the creeping death, but it's of little use against actual death. I, that's why I've come, I'd heard tell of a man suffering from uncommon pains at Fall Gord Float. Sensed an opportunity for philanthropy, and a touch of profit, I'll admit. But if what you say is true, 
his condition demands a much swifter pair of feet than mine. Could you bring the medicine to him in my stead? No need for payment this time, of course. You saved my life, and one good turn deserves another. I only hope the cure works as well as purported. As for me, I'll be on my way, and give any Vilkin I spy a wide berth. think that the mere mention of Chigos could spark such panic. The creeping death casts a long shadow over these lands. You brought medicine. What luck. We must administer it straight away. Huh. Thank you for calling the Chigos. Alas, our patient's condition has yet to improve and it is all we can do to keep him from succumbing to the poison. I know this medicine, it was once used to treat the creeping death. Given his symptoms, it may well prove effective here as well. It works upon the body quite quickly, as I recall. Hold on just a while longer, my friend. The medicine will soon relieve your pain. I, I don't. It hurts. It hurts. Ah. Why? Why? The man's shrieks die in his throat as his body is racked by violent convulsions. He then falls still and quiet as if his breath was snatched from his chest. Twelve have mercy. At the very least, his suffering is over. Had we been quicker to deliver the medicine, would he have lived? Nay, I think not. He was doomed from the moment the poison entered his blood, as will be others if we do not soon gain an understanding of our foe. Let this tragedy not be in vain, but serve as a lesson. Though the effects of Gleipnir's corruption resemble the creeping death, tis clear that the two share little else in common. The poison burns through the body more quickly than any disease. Too deadly is it to be borne by creatures so fragile as Chigos, or any other besides. Then that is one less possibility the people need fear. Tease a shame a life was lost, but this knowledge may help us ensure that others are not. Spread word, but do so with delicacy. In these troubled times, fear and despair can drive even the goodliest of souls to desperate ends. Gleipnir is the only blasphemy known to us in Britannia, for now. We must do our utmost to stop him from sowing further discord. Understood, Elder Seedseer. I'll give this man a proper burial before sharing what we've discovered. Ascertaining Bleepnir's whereabouts is still a primary concern. Let us return to the Adder's Nest. For information shall be our most reliable weapon in the days ahead, and there is no better place to acquire it.
I shall speak with the people after this man receives a proper burial. To honor his sacrifice, I must do what I can to buoy their hope. Gleipnit has been cited in various locales, and though we are reviewing every report, we suspect most are erroneous. Fear has a way of making one jump at shadows. It will take some time before we have determined which reports merit the more involved investigation. Until then, I ask that you stay vigilant and keep your eyes peeled for any sign of the blasphemy. Thank you.